all right guys welcome to today's video adipose okupe here from the wealth crusade and today i'm going to be telling you five major ways you can actually make money in cryptocurrencies right now in 2021 all right so obviously everybody's talking about bitcoin you know the frenzy is here again we have this same frenzy back in 2017 where a lot of people made money and a lot of other people lost money all right so i'm here to give you information on how you can profit from cryptocurrencies and actually build some serious long-term wealth all right and today's video i'm going to show you five ways you can do that this is not exhaustive but it's actually going to give you a head start and um you know if you're new to the channel kindly like this video and also subscribe so you can um get notified hit the notification bell so you can get updated you know every time i release a new video all right so let's drive into uh, what i have today first and foremost let me say that you know i'm not a financial advisor so um you have to do your due diligence none of what i'm giving you here is financial advice this is something that i would do or some of the things i am doing but you're definitely going to have to take responsibility for whatever decision that you make Having said that, let's talk about how you can make money, all right? The first way, the, the, the no-brainer way, the simplest way is actually to just buy and hold, all right? We know right now that cryptocurrencies are here to stay, okay? Um, the adoption is increasing every day. Institutions are actually buying more cryptocurrency every single day. So, you know, it's already here to stay. A good bet for you is actually to just buy some Bitcoin. All right, buy some Bitcoin. Um, there, you can see the chart. Uh, my screen right now it shows Bitcoin is thirty-seven thousand um, dollars as of tonight. Um, and um, you know, forecast actually a lot of people have forecasted Bitcoin to go up to one fifty thousand dollars in the next couple of years or months. And uh, some others actually predict a million dollar Bitcoin. So you can see. Compare thirty-seven thousand dollars now to one million dollars, or even to two fifty thousand dollars. We're talking about you know, like six x, right? So six times your money right now. If it goes from where it is now to two fifty thousand dollars, even if it just goes from where it is now to one fifty thousand dollars, that's about a three or four, four to five x on your money, just you know by buying right now. So. At 37,000, it looks very high. All right, you missed out on when Bitcoin was uh, fractions of the penny, but there's still a lot of upside. So that's one uh, way you can do that. You know, set and forget it. Just buy Bitcoin, and you can buy maybe every month, or you can buy every quarter. You just put it on a schedule and hold it. All right, for as long as you can. And if you look at the charts right here, you will see that historically, uh, if you had bought Bitcoin at any point in its history, just um, except for probably, um, you know, early this year, you would be in serious profit. Even if you bought at the height in 2017, right? If you remember when Bitcoin was having that frenzy at $17,000, you know, it went down, corrected a huge deal, but it actually went back up. And, you know, this is the next go run. So no matter, at least 95% of the history of Bitcoin, if you had bought any time from 2020 to um, 2009, when Bitcoin started, you're actually being profit right now. So buying or holding is a good strategy. All right. And let me just show you something that is very funny. You know, uh, just some statistics about Bitcoin. There's something called the Bitcoin Pizza Index, and this is this is the world's most expensive uh, pizza. In 2010, someone actually bought pizza, two pieces of two packs of pizza for 10,000 Bitcoin. But hey, at the at the time he did this, um, it was let me see how much it was worth. It was actually worth 41 dollars, 10,000 Bitcoin was worth $41 in um, 2010, on May 18, 2010. And right now, 10,000 Bitcoin is actually worth 
is up is over this right now. It should be 30, 370 million dollars. All right, so you can see just 11 years later. So that's one strategy you can buy Bitcoin, buy Ethereum. Um, the other strategy I will tell you today is instead of just buying and holding, um, is something called staking. All right, so staking is a way that you can get more yield from your investments so instead of just holding um holding the currency you know bitcoin or ethereum or whatever you know you can actually put it to you so let me explain this you know using traditional banking you can keep money in the bank um you know just save your money in the bank or you can actually freeze your money in a fixed deposit account all right so that is what i would like in um, staking to where you know you can freeze your money for maybe six months and then your money is still in the account but it's frozen you can't get you don't have access to it and what you're doing uh, by doing that is giving you know liquidity to the bank so that they can use that money for their operations you know they can lend it out they can trade it they can do whatever with it so that's what you're doing but they are going to reward you by giving you some you know yield percentage maybe 15 percent 20 percent in six months in nine months you know depending on the period so that's exactly what staking is and you can see what it says here staking simply put is the act of locking cryptocurrencies to receive rewards that's exactly what it is you can stake directly from your cryptocurrency wallet. So, you know, some wallets allow you to stake. Um, most multi coin wallets allow you to stake. Or you may have to, you know, transfer those funds to an exchange like Binance, um, you know, or Uniswap or whatever to stake. So those are the two methods. But, you know, this option is available. I would do other trainings, um, you know, on different opportunities or, you know, um, methods of staking and the different opportunities you can actually take advantage of. All right, so um, in Trust Wallet here, it says coin staking gives currency holders some decision power on the network. So when you stake, because cryptocurrency is trying to decentralize, you know, authority such that it's, it's not only the holder or the founder that makes all the decisions you know, they're trying to democratize the power and say as long as you are you know you have shares in this project or you have a stake in this project you can determine the future all right so staking also gives you voting um rights you can vote on the governance of that currency or that token on you know what changes will be done what um improvements will be done to it and um so that's one of the benefits of staking if you're interested in doing that but also why we are here we know is so that we can generate an income or cash flow from that um, investment okay so the third way i'm going to tell you today is um trading all right and you know trading is a great way if you have the knowledge um there are some simple ways of trading there are also some more complex methods of trading for more advanced people so if you've been trading stocks uh, it's pretty much the same thing obviously you need to have uh, a little bit more knowledge about cryptocurrencies it's very volatile um so you need to be more careful you need to be more um, current all right you need to be more current because things can change in 30 minutes so you can use you can use Luno. Luno is a very simple way for especially newbies. If you're new to cryptocurrencies, um, it's very easy for you to get into the space. You know, with Luno, just open an account. Um, the referral link will be in the description. You can go ahead and download Luno on your smartphone, um, Apple, Android, and start trading. You can deposit Naira directly, and uh, you know, in probably two steps. And they will charge you a small transaction fee, but you can start, you can actually buy and hold in Luno, or you can use it for trading. All right. And if you're more advanced, um, I've been trading, you know, for many years. So uh, I use Binance for trading. As you can see, there are so many more tools there, advanced tools and charting tools and things like that. So you can also um, sign up for Binance and either Binance or Luno they're perfect for trading um, and you can fund your account directly with naira in a few seconds and you can also withdraw back to your naira bank account you know with both these platforms so that is very very exciting
All right, so as you can see here, um, this was this was uh, 9 a.m. If you look at the bottom there, 9 a.m. 9 9:15 this morning, Bitcoin was 35,000. If you look towards the right, right here, so that around the 35,000 range, and you can see that by 5:30, uh, 6 o'clock this evening, it was 37,000. So I could have bought right here on this moving average. Um, so I could have bought there and sold at the top, and uh, that was been, that would have given me a four percent um, profit right there. So that's something you could do every day. You know, buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high, or sell high, buy low, sell high, buy low. And there are people that do this every day. If you if you make four percent on your money on your trading account every day i mean in, in in a month that is already over 100 percent. so you know that's something you could do as long as you can read the charts and i mean google is your friend for that so you can trade that's one of the other options another option is actually um investing in altcoins all right there's something what we call altcoins are alternate coins so all the coins because they are over 8,000, if you can see here, or on CoinGecko, there's over 6,000 coins, cryptocurrencies and tokens that you can actually buy or trade. And um, they're actually over 8,000 right now, but 6,000 listed on CoinGecko. Um, so what we call altcoins are all the other projects, cryptocurrencies that are, you know, apart from Bitcoin. So Ethereum, Tether, Polkadot, Ripple, Cardano, as you can see, um, Bitcoin is the gold standard. But sometimes all these smaller coins will actually have a, a you know much more pump than Bitcoin. So, for example, look at Ripple here. In the last seven days, Ripple has done 43.9%. And if you are holding Bitcoin, that would have just been 13%. You can see Ethereum has done 20%. Um, if, I, if I scroll down here, you'll see a lot of coins. Look at Dogecoin. Obviously, there's something happening with Dogecoin now, if you don't know, with the Wall Street bets guys, uh, Reddit, that are pumping this coin. But the whole idea is that these alternate coins, even though they are more risky and um, probably less stable, um, they can actually have a huge, you can see Sushi here, you know, 78% um, coin. You can see Compound here which is the lending protocol um 53 so the idea is if you you know invest in these smaller coins they can actually you know have a huge pump much faster and then you can take those profits and you know save them in bitcoin because as high as these coins can pump they can also crash in the same in, in the same vein so um invest in other coins with in a smaller percentage of your portfolio and once you have some upside, you take it back to Bitcoin and Ethereum as the store of value. Right? So that's something you can actually do. And you can get good at doing any of these things I've talked about or a combination of both. I actually do all these things. All right. So looking at Polkadot as well. Polkadot is an alternative to Ethereum. And, um, you know, it's actually so, there are lots of projects that are trying to solve the problems of the previous or the existing coins but polkadot you know has a very solid use case um, the technology is great it's not as bulky and they solve the problem of bloating um, you know where the network fees on ethereum blockchain have become very very high so um, polkadot is definitely looking like it's going to be very very um, relevant in the months and years to come and uh, that's actually one of the projects that i am invested in you can see in the last 30 days if you were holding polka dots your portfolio would have been up um 90 percent or 91 percent and you can see all the stats here so you can also see that it's actually has gone 630 percent from august last year up to now so if you bought in august you'll be actually 630% up on Polkadot. And, you know, the idea is for these um, altcoins, look for the those that have solid use cases, good leadership, you know, because uh, there are lots of scams. So you need to get good at doing those research and uh, you, you can really make some serious gains. We've seen coins that have, you know, 50,000 
percent, five thousand percent growth in in three months. And if you you know some, there are people that actually you know go hardcore on these things. And if you want to go that route, you know you need to get your knowledge on how to do fundamental analysis. You know looking at the market capitalization, uh, the circulating supply, doing your research and on the um, on the currency, on the project, on the leadership team, and things like that. All right, so I'm going to tell you um, another way you can make money in cryptocurrencies is called yield farming. So we are moving into what we call decentralized finance, and um, this is a huge booming industry right now because uh, if you look at if you look at um, the total amount of money that is locked in decentralized finance right now in cryptocurrencies is about 26 or 28 billion dollars as of today so if that opens you will see um, all the def decentralized finance projects right now i think we actually crossed the 30 billion if you see that so we just crossed 30 billion um you know in money that is locked so people are moving away from the traditional uh, markets the wall streets the hedge funds and they are finding huge opportunities in cryptocurrencies and blockchain so there are projects here as you can see these are all yield farming coins where you know essentially there are some lending protocols so are they um compound yen finance curve balancer what these guys do is you know they take your money so it's more like an advanced uh, staking where you put some money there and then they are going to lend your money out to other people and then give you interest just like what the bank does right but they take it a step further and instead of just you know um sticking to one particular project these yield farms, these they are aggregators, they are yield aggregators. So they're going to help you find the best yield. So you know, if I was going to lend to project A and get 10%, but there's project B right here that is giving 20% interest, you know, these projects will save you the stress of doing that hunt and they will move your money to the best performing assets uh, so that you can maximize your yield. So that's what we call yield farming. And uh, yen finance is one of the uh, huge projects in this space. We have Compound, we have Balancer, and these guys take your money. So you, you put your money in one place, and then, you know, based on the parameters that you set, they are going to move that money around into different yield um, projects where, you know, you can get the best yield. So that is what yield farming is about. Um, okay, so this is not opening up, but you can see it crossed 30 billion here. And the last thing I'm going to tell you, so there's going to be separate trainings for this, okay? Uh, I'm just giving you a run through of the opportunities that exist right now in cryptocurrency. And you might be able to draw a parallel to some of these projects, you know, in online in decentralized finance happening in traditional markets. The difference here is that, you know, it's democratized. The Because it is, it's a very new industry, the opportunities for gain are astronomical all right so let's talk about one last um, way you can make money in cryptocurrency okay so this is um, the final uh, method I'm going to tell you how you can make money and this uh, how did I find this I'm always looking for opportunities to earn cash flow so that's my investment strategy and you know you can have your investment strategy because there are two ways you can make money in investing there's capital appreciation and there's dividends there's cash flow so i'm on the dividend route because i want to get cash flow in the short term and i want to be able to invest um you know that that income back to that same opportunity to increase my position or you know find other things or just spend right so uh, but if i'm able to get the two at the same time all right if i'm able to get dividends and I'm also able to get the capital appreciation, that is the sweet spot. And I found a way to do that in cryptocurrencies and in a very exciting. So for example, I hold a bag of Bitcoin, I hold, hold a bag of Ethereum, but um, in decentralized finance, there's something called Hourglass, right? Call it Hourglass, and this is one of them, um, Ethereum Capital. Basically what they do here, and I, I'm just going into detail in this project, I'll do another video you know, with more uh, details, 
and like more like a tutorial so you can look forward to that but what they do here is we just come together and say hey we're a community of people and um, we have a financial arrangement so look at this like a very very advanced ajo or stock veil or what whatever you call it and they say that look anybody that comes to join our pool um, is going to pay a fee of 20 percent just follow me and um that 20 percent is going to be shared amongst all the existing people in this pool all right so they, they, that's 10 percent in 10 percent out so 20 percent but it's charged up front once you come in so by the time you're withdrawing obviously they won't charge you because they've taken the 10 percent already so just by holding your funds in this pool here you are going to earn dividends on people that are coming in and people going out the strategy obviously here is if you if you have some funds that you intend to hold for a long time whether it's bitcoin or ethereum you know instead of it sitting down in your wallet as i said you can actually come and uh, get involved with this uh, project ethereum capital uh, i've been in this for about maybe nine months now and i actually just took some profit i had over a thousand dollars a thousand four hundred dollars uh, a thousand seven hundred dollars and i've taken over a thousand dollars so um you can see my dividends here so as people are coming in and going out i'm actually earning dividends in ethereum all right and there's also a bitcoin version of it using a wrapped bitcoin but i'm going to do another um training specifically for this so if you're looking to just hold your funds and you know invest in cryptocurrency but you're looking for a safe this is one of the safest things that i know in cryptocurrency the contract is audited it's a smart contract there's nothing anybody has to do to make it work it's code is programmed to do take 20 percent of anybody coming in and then you know distribute it amongst the <laughs> token holders all right so i'll do another video um, to explain this but this is definitely one of the projects that I'm going to be in for a very long time and I'm just going to do it more like a savings account, you know, take a percentage of my monthly income and put it there. And I keep reinvesting this um, dividend. I, sometimes I take the dividend out and I spend it um, if I'm looking for, you know, I just need some cash, some change somewhere. And But most times I'm just going to keep reinvesting this to increase my position uh, in this hourglass. All right. So this is one of the beauties of cryptocurrencies, decentralized finance, there is no, um, there are no rules basically, you set, we set the rules and as long as you have enough people that agree to support this project, you know, it flies. So, um, stay tuned for the video, I'm going to link this later on, once I make the other tutorial video, but drop me a comment if, um, you know, you got some value from this video and obviously don't forget to like and subscribe drop me in the comment i want to know are you a new person in cryptocurrencies are you looking for where to invest do you want to trade do you want to do something like this earn dividends uh drop me a comment and let's get talking and i'll see you on the next video cheers and god bless